Hey guys, all right, so we are doing verses four. Sorry, I lost the screen. Four, five, and six um, today. And we've already done one through three. So basically, um, I just want to share a short story with you. My grandmother, who is in heaven now, but she was born hearing and she got very sick and became deaf when she was two years old. And it was really looked down upon to uh, be deaf when she was younger. And so they used to tie her hands behind her back so that she would be forced to communicate by reading lips and trying to speak. And um, I can remember her like I wouldn't even have to be looking at her sometimes and I would say things and she would just know what I said. <laughs> she was amazing. She overcame so much. And so doing this helps me feel um, like a little connected to her. And I wish that I would have learned sign language when she was around because it would have been amazing to communicate with her like that. Um, but, you know, when we're younger, we don't place value on those sentimental things. But now I get to do it to kind of, um, I don't know, just pay tribute to her. So we're going to get through verses four, five, and six. Verse six is really difficult for me. Um, so if any of you happen to know an easier way to sign this verse, that would be great. But I'm going to show you what I've learned um, for verse six. So we'll start out um, verse four. goes like this. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. And then, now here's verse 6. I'm going to read it to you because it doesn't translate exactly the same way, okay? So it says, Obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. So the way that it translates is kind of like, kind of goes like this. Try to please them as if you are slaves of Christ, knowing that you have a promise from God. And that's where it's coming from, is knowing that promise in your heart. So, it's um, try to please them, um, try to please them as if you were slaves of Christ. Um, and then with the will of God in your heart. So it's kind of a little bit weird. We will perfect this in class together, but we have one more week before we have to do that. So I'm going to keep studying up on that verse. And if I come up with a, an easier way to translate it, I'll make another video for you guys about verse 6, okay? Um, so, yeah. Have a great night. <laughs> I'll see you guys in class. And that's all I got. Okay, bye.